Channel, Victoria Cochrane There are two phases within the energies of ascension, the moon phase and the sun phase. They do repeat themselves in cycles, and currently the earth is in a moon phase where everything is hidden and in shadow. However, you will soon find yourselves back in the sun phase, where all will become bright and clear. Prepare, dear hearts, because many more lies, untruths and mistruths will be revealed as never before. It is bound to be a bumpy ride for everyone. Stand firm, however, because all those in integrity will shine through and assist those around them to raise their vibrations and to see the truth. Do not let anything shake your resolve or purpose, or allow it to wither in the face of opposition from others. It is time for oppressors to be cut open and exposed for who they are, and the pushback they give to protect themselves will be designed to confuse and muddy the waters. The energies of the human world are ever in flux between the dark and the light. It does not help that constant interference from the dark forces, as well as the magnetic pull of the density of duality keeps people in fear and disconnected from their psychic knowing and spiritual purpose. Has the veil of illusion really lifted, as was the promise of ascension? For many, not at all. For others, it is thinning, but their own truth often remains cloudy, due to other people's judgments or them. Their own self-doubt and shadows of the past that have left unresolved trauma. There is no denying that living on earth has become expensive, unpredictable, burdensome, and dangerous. As the souls within each person decides whether to live out their soul contract or not, the web of deceit that is the black matrix is becoming unstable itself. It is only a matter of time before it unravels and becomes its own worst enemy. The weather is another force that is becoming less predictable around the world. Unseasonable rain and floods, storms, fire and drought have devastated communities, sometimes more than once in a year. Many blame climate change, which to a certain extent is valid but there are many factors contributing to the instability of weather patterns globally and the volatility of the mass human collective consciousness is a major culprit. We have talked much about the effects of the human collective consciousness before, so we will not elaborate, rather describe how each of the elements respond to the vibrational patterns coming from Mother Earth. Every living species upon the Earth leaves its energetic footprint, and it is safe to say that the human footprint is the largest and most damaging. Even though many humans are thoughtful in their treatment of the planet, the overall damage done over the centuries to the planet's resources, the environment itself and to fellow humans has left its energetic mark in the fabric of the Earth. The elements respond to any kind of imbalance in the Earth's energies with protective measures that are well intended but also quite reflexive in nature. The nature of the law of polarity means that a poverty of one kind will result in abundance of another, which can, in turn, create more imbalance. An example might be where drought can cause a mouse plague, or where flood can then cause a lack of drinkable, fresh water. Nothing can be given without an exchange of energy, so if too much is taken from the earth in the form of resources then the result will be poverty the next season. However, if resources are replaced sustainably, the harvest will be the same or more in the next cycle. If the seasons can cycle without interference, the barrenness of the winter will be replaced by abundance in the spring and summer. However, the more the seasons become out of kilter, the more extreme the conditions will become when they are least expected. The way to address the imbalances of energies on the earth is very complex, but any reactive response will only serve to cause more imbalance. While humans cannot be blamed for all extreme weather or environmental issue, it is fair to say that only humans are the best place to correct the problems caused by unsustainable practices, pillaging and pollution of resources and the powerful negative energy emanating from the black matrix and the human collective consciousness. Added to all of that would be the anxiety and restlessness coming from the elemental world itself as it endlessly strives to maintain its equilibrium in the natural world. No mean feat indeed. I am Lord Melchizedek.